talk to you? Okay. Hi, my name's Brian Julian. I'm from the Distributed Robotics Laboratory at MIT. Uh, today I'm going to show you our quad rotor uh, robot platform, uh, which we feel has great potential for uh, applications such as surveillance, telecommunications, but I'll first start off with a demo. So now I'm manually controlling this, so it's kind of cheating because this is for autonomous robotics, but it can just show you the capabilities of the system. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do, so I want you to imagine that there's a camera on this robot looking down at you. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that there's a hundred of these robots with cameras looking down at you. Now, the reason you would do this, uh, instead of uh, what we do today, which is create a very, very sensitive uh, imager, uh, maybe deploy it on a uh, satellite or a large aircraft, uh, and take very high resolution uh, photography, is this system is able to first um, resist failure, so it's a much more robust system. And also, you have the ability to reconfigure the system such that you can look at areas that you consider more important uh, than other areas which you might not be so interested in. Now, this is not designed to completely replace how we do surveillance today. It's more to augment it, such that you have this large area of uh, photography, you know, uh, picture. You look at areas that you're very interested in, and then you're able to deploy this distributed system to carry out a task, whether it be sensing, whether it be um, just deploying a wireless network. There's a lot of aspects of the system which we find. Let me see the final thing again. <laughs> Okay. So for safety reasons, I'm not going to actually fly this. But what I am going to do is show you how the, uh, the IMU uh, operates. So this uses three uh, gyro, three axis gyro, and three axis accelerometers. Now, it's obviously designed to hover, you know, such that it makes a perfect uh, platform for downward facing cameras. If I disturb it, it reacts instantaneously. How it does that, yep, how, how it does that is the inner lowest level control loop operates very, very fast. It's almost a brute force, uh, brute, brute force method. Um, and that allows it to be very uh, resistant against external uh, disturbances, such as wind. This is able to, to uh, uh, fly in extreme gusts, uh, even just using waypoint, a GPS waypoint following. Uh, it's a very capable system. And I would like to uh, emphasize that this is commercially available. So this system, this hardware is accessible. What we, need, um, what we need to do uh, in our research is to make the system, especially ones that have multi-agents, to be more intelligent and be more capable of performing the application, such as surveillance, such as wireless uh, networking, uh, to carry out and, uh, with high confidence that it, it will perform the tasks we want them to do. Okay, so? Fly one more time for us. Okay. You're, you're <laughs> What is it, Peter's Law or...? <laughs> so. Thank you. Very You're welcome. Do you have a card? I do not, actually. Offset. Oh, sure.